Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 30 and in this video I want to introduce to you the constructor function. Alright then class, so in previous lessons you've seen me create objects like this. Something to do with my car and then we've given it some properties, the max speed and driver and a couple of methods also. Now, if we wanted to create variations of this my car object, for example my car 2, 3, 4, we could technically copy this and paste it down here, call this my car 2, we'd go in and change our properties, uh, then do the same, my car 3, change the properties and so forth. But say we want to create 30 of those, or 50, or 100 even. That is going to take up a lot of room in your JavaScript, and it's also going to take you a lot of time. Okay, so there must be a quicker and better way to do this. Well, my friends, there is. It's called using the constructor function. So, what is a constructor function? Essentially, a constructor function is just a function that creates an object for us, right? And we've seen them in play already, kind of. When we do something like this, var my array equals new array, that's creating a new array object for us, a new blank array object. And this right here is calling the array constructor function to create that object for us. Like the same we do with strings, var my string equals new string, right? That's doing the same thing constructor function to create a new string object. So what's to stop us in JavaScript doing something like this? Var my car equals new car. Absolutely nothing. We can create this constructor function car to create those car objects for us, right? So we could do this if we have one car, if we have 20 cars, we can call this every time, right? So that's what we're going to do. Now the first thing we need to do is make our variable to store the car constructor function in. And we're going to call this car. And you'll notice that I'm starting it with a capital letter because that's generally how we do things when we're creating constructor functions in JavaScript. They all start with a capital letter, generally speaking. So we're going to set this equal to, to a function. And we'll open our code block right there. And then within these parentheses, we're going to pass in a couple of variables. And the variables are going to be used so that we can set these properties, the max speed and the driver. So we'll simply call them max speed and driver. Makes sense, right? And then we can access those variables in here. So when we create a new car, we could say my car, oops, my car equals new car. And then we pass in the two variables here like 50 and ninja and those variables are going to get passed into these variables here 50 and ninja so that's how it works and then within here we can use the this keyword we've already talked about the this keyword in the previous lesson if you've not seen that go back and check it out but you know now we can use the this keyword within this function to represent the object that we're making right because it owns this space so we'll say this dot max speed equals max speed and that right there is going to be the same as saying whatever variable we create say my car 2 or something dot max speed equals max speed and it's going to grab this value and set it equal to that property there right so we'll just keep this as this then we'll do the same for driver this dot driver equals driver it's going to grab that variable right there that we pass in and set it equal here to that property and then we're going to do this dot, what's the first method we have? Drive equals, and then we're just going to grab this function here, copy and paste that, and put our semicolon at the end. So that's the drive function where it's going to log the distance traveled. Then we'll do this dot log driver, and we'll set that equal to this function right here. Copy and paste it in, and that's going to log the driver name out using this dot driver, which we've already set up here. And that's all there is to it, guys. That is your constructor function right there. We've got our property set up, and we've got our method set up. Now, the only thing left to do is call that constructor function and set it to a new variable. So we'll do, i tell you what, first of all, we'll delete that, and then we'll create a new variable called ver my car equals new car and then we'll pass in some variables to these 
here. And the max speed is going to be 70, and the driver name is going to be Ninja Man. And we'll do another one. Let's just copy and paste this a few times. My car 2, my car 3, my car 4, and we can go on and on however many times we want to, and just pass in different details in here each time. That's how easy it is now, guys, to make a new car object. Then we can just pass in new names as well. Um, Humpty, Dumpty, Sean, and why not? Let's pass in James Bond. All right then, so we're creating four new objects and we've only created this constructor function once, so a much more efficient way of doing things, I think you'll agree. And let's just test this. Let's just log a few details out of these cars. We'll say, first of all, my car.drive, and we'll pass in 30 miles an hour and five hours. Then we'll say, my car3.log driver. Okay, and let's just test those out. Refresh over here. So 150 we're getting first of all, which is 30 times 5 from this function. So that's cool. And then my car3.log driver is giving us driver name is Sean, which you can see here in my car 3. So that's all worked perfectly. So guys, that is the constructor function in a nutshell. If you have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.